Hi, I'm Wes with Nori, and we're on a mission to make the world better through lubrication excellence. Water is one of the most common contaminants that we find in oil, and it can exist in a variety of states within that oil. I want to talk to you about a couple of them. One of the first ones that we want to talk about is dissolved water. Now, dissolved water is where the water is evenly dispersed throughout the entire oil, and it still appears clean and bright. We don't see any cloudiness or anything else. Now, we hit a point called the saturation point. And the saturation point changes with temperature, changes with the age of the oil, how many additives are in it, and everything else. But that's the point at which we can no longer dissolve any water within that oil. Beyond that, we start getting into emulsified or an emulsion of oil and water. And this is when the, the oil becomes cloudy, it starts looking milky. Uh, when we start thinking of oil and water mixtures, this is what we tend to think about, that darkening of the oil, that cloudiness of the oil. In low-lying areas or areas that don't have a lot of turbulence, we can get into free water. And free water is where that water readily separates from the oil. So maybe in the bottom of a gearbox or the bottom of a reservoir somewhere, you can see a standing line of water. This is the free water. Now, of all the three states of coexistence, the dissolved, the emulsified, and the free water, it is the emulsified that's the most dangerous. We want to make sure that we remove it, that uh, we keep the water below the saturation point at all possible if we can, and this will definitely make a, a difference in the life of our machine and the reliability of our machine. Now we talk a lot more about water contamination and even water removal uh, in many of our classes that we teach. To find out when a class is coming near you or to learn more about attending one of these classes, please visit us at noria.com.